Well, I've come up to North Yorkshire today, glorious part of the world, and this is a glorious boat. She's called Gan Canny. She's 58 and a half feet long. She was built in 2009 by Tim Tyler and Braid Bar fitted her out, both highly regarded, regarded boat builders. Boat number 113 of Braid Bars. Anyone who knows Braid Bars will know what an exceptional job they do. She was repainted in 2022 by Tony Martin. She was varnished as well, so that paint job should be good for many years to come. She was re-blacked in March 2022. She had three boat coats of blacking put on her. She's got 12 anodes on her. Four were new last March at the last blacking. And the engine was last serviced in June last year, 2022. 100 watts of solar power there on the roof. She was serviced by an ex-braid bar engineer, actually. Portholes throughout. They all open. They're the tilt opening things. There's two side hatches on board, one here in the saloon, one in the galley. She's got a light boat as well for all portholes. There are three light prisms through the boat in the roof and one Houdini hatch in the bedroom. The gas lock lockers are the gas bottles rather are in the forward locker there. There's two 13 kilos. This cratch cover was new in 2022. There is a tonneau as well for the back. We photographed that. That's on the brochure or on the photo gallery on the website. There's a locker here. There is an anchor on board. I think that's in the forward locker or in this locker. I can't remember. Nice well deck, five feet long. Quite a nice social space to sit out and eat or whatever. The water tank's under there, stainless steel, 500 litres. Glazed front doors. And then we go. She's fitted out in oak. Oak floor, oak to the cabin side, tongue and groove. The saloon is... Uh, 10 feet 11 inches long that's a sofa bed sofa bed barn produced that that's new there's one of the light prisms i mentioned and the head height on the boat six foot five in the center that's a brand new 32 inch television lots of shelves under the gunnels here there's that side hatch i showed you from the outside lots of shelves along the port side here there's a cupboard in here with a stereo in it there's a kenwood cd radio Speakers for that in the saloon and the dinette area. Storage under the steps. Some also squirrel solid fuel stove. These are lovely lights. There's four of these here in the saloon. I don't know what you call them, but lovely and old fashioned looking. Really lovely woodwork on this boat. A little occasional table there opposite the television. Let's have a quick look down through the saloon. Really cosy. All the lights on board are LED. There's under gunnel lighting as well, actually. In the bathroom and in the galley here. So the galley's a good size, 7 feet 6 inches long. There's cupboards over both sides of it with lights underneath. Granite worktops here on the starboard side. There's the fridge. That's new. It's a 12 volt shoreline with a, an ice box. Cupboard under the sink. That's the washing machine. It's a hot point, seven kilo washing machine. And there's a four burner gas hob, oven and grill there. Lots and lots of storage in here. There's another prism in the roof. Then on the port side, oak worktops here. There's a wine rack there. Three drawers, cupboards underneath. There you go. Plenty of stuff to squirrel, uh, places to squirrel things away. And cupboards over there. Lovely curves in the cupboards there to follow the contour of the windows, the portholes. Useful little cupboard under the gunnel here. Surprised more boats don't use under the gunnel space for those cupboards. Lovely um, curved bulkhead here which delineates the galley from the dinette area. Lovely area. This is like a separate dining room I suppose, but that converts into a spare double berth as well. 
Storage underneath it, a couple of very good sized drawers. Pullman style dinette, there's a drawer under the table there. Six foot three inches long this. And there's the undergun lighting I mentioned, speakers in the wall. Yeah, a really lovely room this. Shelves over the dinette. There's a side hatch. That's actually got uh, glass panels in that, the, the doors of that side hatch. So it lets them light in when they're closed. A couple of LED lights on the wall. Into the bathroom. It's a walk-through bathroom, undergun all lighting there by the towel rail. It's a Thetford cassette loo. There was a spare cassette on board, ceramic basin there under the mirror. It's a good sized shower cubicle. That's an extractor light over it. So it's an extractor fan and light combo. The bathroom itself, six feet two inches long. It's got a folding door there. I suppose that enables you to open it past the, the basin unit there. It's all the towel rail. There are three radiators on board and one towel rail. They're heated by Webasto diesel fired central heating system. Under gunnel lighting there. The bed itself is six foot four inches long, four feet wide, but it does extend to four and a half feet wide. That bit of wood just pulls out and you'd need a mattress infill for under the gunnels, but it does extend. Houdini hatch in here. Lots and lots of cupboards over the uh, bed. A couple of reading lights. Really lovely room this. Nine foot three inches long. Another of those radiators. Storage under the bed. And at the foot of the bed, decent sized wardrobe. There's a whole set of new bungs as well, by the way, for the windows on this boat. They cost a pretty penny as well, I can tell you. There's some drawers underneath the wardrobe there. And into the rear cabin. Neatly arranged electrics. The engine's under here. It's a Beta Marine 43 horsepower. There is a bow thruster on board. It's hydraulic as well. I really like hydraulic bow thrusters. It's a Lumar. The batteries are under that wooden plank there. There's four domestics. They were new. December 21, 400 and 5 amp hour domestics and a starter. Nice and clean and tidy in there. All the electrics are in here. That's a 2.5 kilowatt inverted charge and master volt. And there's a generator. It's a whisper gen, 3.5 kilowatt. So plenty of options for 230 volts on board. You've got a landline hookup, 3.5 kilowatt generator or the inverter. You won't be short of 230 volts. It's perfect for the washing machine, actually, that generator. Lovely countryside. Viewings, of course, will be by appointment only for this boat. And it is in North Yorkshire, so be prepared to travel if you're not from North Yorkshire. 500 litre stainless steel water tank, I think I mentioned that. Hot water on board is heated by the engine, the Webasto, or there is also an immersion heater. There was a full survey on the boat in 2020. That's available on the boat for inspection. I quite like the undergunnel mood lighting here. It'd be quite nice in the evening. Have another walk back through. I love that curved bulkhead. Gives you a feeling of a different room for the dining area, but opens it up, feels quite spacious as well. All the fenders on are brand new as well, and she's got all the necessary mooring um, navigation equipment to just turn the key and go. So there we are, really lovely boat I think, Gam Canny, for further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.